This is Darren Docterman with High Flow Fuel Injection and today I want to show you a uh, ported plenum and the procedure that uh, it undergoes to uh, add extra airflow to your TPI system. Um, I'm almost finished with this particular plenum. Here's the inlets. Uh, I've finished both of them. Um, set up for a 58 millimeter throttle body or anything smaller. Uh, I removed the, uh, the ridges on both sides. They uh, really prohibit the air from uh, from flowing smoothly into the into the plenum, and uh, that's one of the first things I I get rid of on the on the plenum. And as you can see, it's been radiused in, been smoothed in. Here are the outlets, and uh, these particular outlets are ported for Arizona Speed Marine large tube runners. Quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of work has gone into this plenum. Um, I use it was one of the tools that I use. On the on all of my uh, porting, actually, it's just a your basic die grinder with a carbide burr, uh, open flute carbide burr, uh, like an oval tip. Uh, the open flute is for soft metals like aluminum it doesn't load up like uh, a smaller flute uh, burr wood works really well it takes uh, a lot of metal out pretty fast and then here's another one I use for the same thing it's another it's it's got the large flute for the aluminum. Um, it's got a different end on it. Uh, but it's shorter. It's good for uh, it's good for uh, working on the plenum. Um, and then after that, I'll finish with with this another die grinder with with a long mandrel six inch mandrel and um, cartridge roll that one's pretty worn down here's here's an unused one it's two inch cartridge roll 80 grit and that that helps get the smooth, the smooth finish that you see around the ports. Turns out really nice. Um, you can get these parts all over online. Um, I usually get my supplies from Eastwood, Eastwood.com. Uh, they have the mandrels. Uh, the cartridge rolls. Uh, they have some uh, some of the porting burrs, the carbide bur burrs, and uh, but they're a little pricey on those. I I would shop around a little bit before you 
before you buy because the carbide burrs can get pretty pricey. Um, this one in particular, depending on where you buy it, can run you like 40 bucks. I've seen them 40, 45 bucks. But um, if you if you shop around, you can get them cheaper. I think I paid like 20, 25 or 26 bucks for this one. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the place, uh, the the place I bought it. I think it was Cincy Performance. Dot com, um, yeah, they have some pretty good deals. Best prices I've seen on uh, carbide burrs, but like I said, just shop around. You'll find a good deal on them. And then like the uh, the die grinders, this die grinder right here, it's a central pneumatic die grinder that I uh, that I got at Harbor Freight. <laughs> I got quite a few of those actually, and they're cheap. Uh, they work real well, um, but you can get them for like ten bucks, ten bucks or so, somewhere around there. Um, good deal, and it's always good to have quite a few uh, grinders. That way, you don't have to switch, you know, bits from, you know, back and forth from from one to another. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's always good to have, you know, quite a few of them on hand. Um, so if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. Um, I'd be glad to help you out with any any questions you have. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, also check out my Facebook page, High Flow Fuel Injection. Thanks for watching.